Hello, today we're going to read Johnny Appleseed, My Story, as told by David L. Harrison, illustrated by Mike Wanuka. Johnny Appleseed, My Story. Someone is coming, Beth yelled. It was a lean, wiry man with pep in his step. Mama, Papa, cried Will, it's Johnny. It was Johnny Appleseed. Papa stopped chopping wood. Johnny Appleseed is always welcome, Papa said. He always has a good tale to tell. Johnny smiled and waved hello. Mama invited him to stay for supper. Beth and Will were so excited, they jumped up and down. Tell us a story, they begged. Johnny scratched his chin. His eyes were kind. You children are growing like tree sprouts, he said. I will tell you a story after I help your papa chop wood. Johnny was good with an ax. He chopped and chopped. At dinner, Johnny ate all he could. He told mama, I walked 20 miles to get here. Your pie was worth every step. He winked at Beth and Will. Now for a story, he said. Beth and Will sat on the floor. They loved stories. Johnny began like this. My real name is John Chapman. I grew up in a big family. Ten kids. We were noisy and raggedy, always barefoot. And we were as hungry as bear cubs in spring. To be by myself, I would head for the woods. I knew the trees and rivers for miles. More and more, the woods felt like home. After school, I worked to help my family. When I was old enough, I set out on my own. I packed up my gun and my hatchet. I left Massachusetts, walking west on my bare feet. Soon, I came to a cider mill. They were giving away the seeds from the apples. A poor boy never passes up anything free. I filled my pack with seeds. I grinned as if those seeds were gold. But I lost that grin in a storm in Pennsylvania. I was walking up in the mountains. All at once, the day turned as dark as night. The wind began to howl. It was bitter cold. Soon, snow was soon up to my waist. If I didn't do something, I would die. I made up my mind. No storm was going to be the end of me. I ripped strips from my coat to wrap my bare feet. Then I wove snowshoes from branches and I walked right out of that storm. Walking gave me time to think. Folks were moving west. What would they need when they got there? Apples. I would plant an orchard. I got an ax and started clearing trees. Chunk, chunk, chunk. I chopped. I made the wood chips fly. Soon my first seeds took root and sprouted. So I set out west to find more land. I planted apple seeds in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Indiana. I sold sprouts to folks heading west in their wagons. I sold sprouts to settlers living in log cabins. One sprout cost six and a half cents. Sometimes I traded sprouts for clothes or food. Some folks were too poor to trade. I gave them sprouts for free. I knew how it felt to be poor. Most folks do not know my real name. They just call me Johnny Appleseed. I still work hard taking care of my orchards. I sleep out under the stars and I will wear any old clothes or hat to keep warm. 
Johnny held up his bare feet. But I still do not like to wear shoes, he said. Unless it is winter, I do not need them. My feet are tough. Folks say your feet are as tough as elephant hide, said Beth. So tough that a rattlesnake cannot bite through, said Will. Johnny laughed. There are more stories about me than fleas on a dog. Folks say that I can leap over icy rivers or melt ice with my bare feet. Folks say I once met a band of men who wanted to fight me. I talked them into a chopping contest instead. Of course, I won. And I tricked those rascals into helping me clear land for a new orchard. Then there are bear stories. People say bears trust old Johnny Appleseed. Mama bears do not mind if I wrestle their cubs. Others say I sleep with bears to keep warm on winter nights. Ugh, have you ever smelled a bear's breath? But one thing is for sure, I know a lot of Indians. Many are my friends. They have taught me their languages. I know how to hunt for food and how to make canoes out of hollow logs. Will yawned. Beth was half asleep. Johnny stood up. Time for you two to go to bed, he said. And time for me to keep walking. There's always more planting to be done. Beth and Will hugged Johnny. Next time you visit, will you have more stories to tell us, Will said. And more wood to chop, said Johnny. And more of Mama's pie to eat, Beth giggled. Papa smiled at Johnny. You look like a happy man, Papa said. Johnny smiled too. I am a happy man, he said. I have spent my life raising apple tree sprouts. Now, all across the land, folks are enjoying apples from my trees and that makes me happy. Then Johnny Appleseed waved goodbye. <laughs>